oh, 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 hey there, hey there, um, how you doing, how you doing, um, I, if you didn't notice, this is, I, I have a new guitar in my freaking lap, this is, this is it, say hello, say hello, um, yeah, this is everybody, it's a Carter Polson G model, and, um, I love it, I love it, um, let's see, what can I say about it? Uh, this is the Kickstarter guitar, okay? And that means that you lovely supporters uh, got this guitar for me. And uh, I, I freaking love it. Uh, it's got Indian rosewood back and sides. You see that? That is beautiful, huh? You guys can't see how much it shines. Um, it's got uh, Brazilian rosewood binding with koa purples meaning that you got like a brazilian rose on the outside and color just sandwiched in there um same thing with the rosette and the top of this guitar is made out of german spruce and um man this guitar is just alive it's just waiting to be played just like ooh, you hear that you hear that <laughs> um yeah anyway um uh, let me tell you guys it's, it's like a really cool story how i ended up choosing this guitar you guys are like why did you pick this guitar there's so many guitars out there martins and taylors and gibsons why did you pick this carter polson guitar uh well carter polson it's kind of cool um i really did look at all those martins and taylors and gibsons and loudon and callings and uh just all this high-end stuff that i like never ever imagined that i'd ever be able to afford um I checked San Francisco, Oakland, Palo Alto, San Jose, and I just went all over the place, all these different guitar shops, like kind of normal, more like guitar center type stores. Then there's like the Star Musician and like all these local stores. And uh, I tell you, I played some really interesting guitars. A lot of them caught my eye. You know, Martins obviously have their, their thump, their bassy kind of thump, and Taylors have their crisp kind of highs, and Gibsons sound really just sweet and balanced. and um, yeah, I mean, I was really blown away by Blue Ridge, actually. Blue Ridge is this company that kind of makes sort of Martin copies. They're from, uh, they make their guitars in, in China. And I'm like, no way a good guitar is going to come from a factory in China. But I was wrong. I mean, that guitar is pretty amazing, too. But um, I ended up going with this because it's a cool story. Um, I had a mutual friend uh, who knew this guy named Willie. And uh, I didn't mention anything to this guy, but he told Willie about my situation. Well, who's Willie? Willie is Willie Carter of Carter Pulse and Guitars. And Willie gives me a call. The dude who built his guitar gave me a call and said, hey, Warren, you know, we heard about your situation. Uh, we know that you're looking for a new guitar and we want you to come take a look at ours. Hopefully you like them. We'd love to see you playing them. And uh, I'm like, uh, that's pretty awesome. And he says, why don't you come down to Santa Cruz and look at our shop, you know, kind of we'll give you a little tour and, and you can see if you like anything uh, that, that we make. And I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. So I went to Santa Cruz and uh, they got to show me like their guitar building process. They showed me like unfinished guitars, finished guitars, um, stuff I had never seen before. It was just super, super cool. And I learned all the stuff, you know, like, this neck, this mahogany neck is a one piece neck and it like has a dovetail joint. And uh, that's like a really good way to just, you know, make a, make a guitar. Um, just really, really, really interesting stuff that I probably don't have time to talk about. But uh, yeah, afterwards I just picked up this guitar and they had this just kind of laying there for me. And, and obviously it looks amazing, but I was like, how does it sound? So then I picked it up and this is the first chord I played. And I was like, ooh. Woo! And it's just like alive and it just felt really, really responsive to the touch. You know, it does really kind of like gentle stuff pretty well. And it also digs in really nicely too. Stop. I'm not a blues guy. 
Um, I love playing blues though. <laughs> you can really dig into this guitar and, and so you get a lot of dynamic range, you know, soft and loud and it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, sounding guitar. I feel like it has that low end thump and it has that really crisp, that kind of crisp kind of sound, that crisp attack of maybe like a Taylor. So for me, this guitar really was the best of everything. I, I played some, some four or $5,000 guitars and I'm not saying they don't compare to this, but for some reason, this one just felt right to me. It just really felt right. And um, yeah. Oh, so there were some names chosen for this guitar. Um, let me share some of them with you. One of, them, one of you guys wanted to call it generosity. And I thought that's great, you know, like, because everybody's generosity is what ended up getting me this guitar. Um, somebody else said Kid Axe. That's like a really clever name, you know, I like radio, right? so Kid A, Kid X, huh? Um, somebody else, um, trying to be cheeky, I believe that's the term that the English people use. They said, name it Craig T. Nelson. Um, if you guys aren't American, you probably wouldn't get that, because he's just this obscure dude that nobody cares about, um, except his mother. Um, somebody else wanted to call it the love maker. I thought that was pretty funny, because, you know, I was talking about making love. Um, somebody else wanted to call it oh, Sir Nosepick, the Englishman, actually. <laughs> that made me laugh. I just thought that was a really cool and creative name. Probably the most creative out of all of them. But, uh, and a couple other people, I thought, um, they just looked at the guitar. They, they were able to see it in person. They said, oh man, I, I know what I should, that, that, that looks like a Julian. And then somebody else said, oh, that's definitely a girl. So it's not a guy, Julian. He said, oh, that's definitely a girl. And, and he ended up calling it Cruz, as in like Penelope Cruz. And uh, kind of like a, because, you know, it was made in Santa Cruz, you know. I thought that was a pretty nice name. So instead of just picking a name out of a hat, I just felt like, oh, you know, these are all really, really good names. But in the end, I, I kind of went with um, Julian Cruz. It's got a first and middle name, sort of. Maybe the last name is my last name. Or something I have no idea how to what the rules are but anyway Julian Cruz everybody meet Julian and uh, I yeah I guess I couldn't pick between those two names but they were all good names I really really wanted to name it all those names maybe once in a while I'll just call it Craig or I'll call it Kid Axe and, and you guys won't know what I'm talking about um, <laughs> I'll just call it whatever but they're all really really great names and uh, thank you all so much for submitting those names and obviously for donating, for um, helping me out. I, I really think, I don't look at this guitar as like payment or anything for like the videos I've done because they've always been free. I take it as kind of like you guys believe in me and you want me to keep making videos and that I shall do. And uh, I'll keep doing it. I, you guys see I got some new microphones. Check. Um, so I'm going to try to do them as legit as I can, you know, and keep, keep making, um, nice videos for you guys. And I'll try my best to, to teach songs and to share my passion for music. And so, uh, thank you all for, for watching and, uh, whew, let me see what, what can I play right now? Uh.